Amen. Good morning. Hi. Welcome to Apostolic Ministries. I'm your host, Jacqueline King. It's a pleasure to be here. Amen. To bring forth a word of encouragement to you, to your household, whatever your circumstances may be, we are just trusting in our living God that He will turn it around for you. Amen. He will turn it around late in the midnight hour. <laughs> God will turn it around. Father God, we just praise you this morning. Father God, we just thank you for your peace and your loving kindness in our lives. Abba, we just thank Thank you for who you are, for you are our creator. Father God, you created the heavens and the earth. You created man. You created woman. You created everything in the earth above the earth. Father God, we thank you for your creative power in our lives. As we speak your word, Father God, that the words of our words will come forth, Father God, that whatever we put our hand to, Father God, your word says that you will prosper in the mighty name of Yeshua. So, Father Father, we thank you for creative power this morning. We thank you that what we prophesy, what prophetic utterance that comes out of our mouth, Father God, you will hear your word, Abba Father, and you will bring it forth, Father God, in the name of Yeshua. For Father God, your word says in Psalms 37 verse 30, the mouth of the righteous man utters wisdom and his tongues speak what is just. Amen. So, Father God, we speak your word this day. For your word specifically says the mouth of the righteous. So, those who are in right standing with you, Abba Father, you will give them wisdom, Father God. You will give them tongues to speak what is just, Father God. So, Father God, we just thank you for righteousness. We thank you for salvation, Father God. We thank you that you are our sovereign God. We thank you, Father God, that you are our Jehovah Shalom. We thank you, Father God, that you cover us and protect us in the day of battle. We thank Thank you, Father God, that we put on the whole armor of Jehovah God. We put on your armor, Father God, because it's your armor, Father God, that we are able to stand and be still, Father God, and be steadfast, Father God, and watch you, Father God. Send divine helpers to help us in the midst of our trials. Father God, we thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise at this hour, Abba Father. We glorify you, Father God, in the name of Yeshua. We give you praise, Abba Father. We give you praise this morning, Father God. We bless you this morning. Amen. So I just want to quickly share um, a little story with you this morning. So for the past few weeks, um, I have misplaced my glasses and I have misplaced one of my credit cards. So, you know, I wasn't really occupied or worried about the fact that I misplaced them because I feel like when I still feel like they are here in this house somewhere in this house in my home. And so when I got up again, you know, I started thinking, you know, I don't like to overthink because I'm, I'm generally that person, but I'm really learning to trust in my thoughts and just leave it there. Amen. Especially when God is ministering to me. Uh, but to make it short, make a long story short, I just stood still today and I began to pray, just began to pray and began to declare the word of God. Like, I do every day, but I declare that wherever my glasses are, wherever my credit card is, that it will be found. Wherever it is hidden, it will be found today. It will be found now. So I began to speak God's word concerning that what is troubling me because it's, it doesn't make sense for something to go missing and to be gone for such a long time, even to the point where when I go certain places, I have to ask, um, did you find glasses? Did you find anything, you know? So it's amazing how things could be hidden for such a long time. But at the same time, what is hidden will be exposed. So we just give God praise this morning that whoever you are, if there's something missing in your life, is there something that you cannot locate? I pray for you today, just as well as I pray for myself, that what is hidden will be exposed. So we just give God the praise this morning and we thank him for this glorious day. We thank him for his grace and his loving kindness in our lives. We thank him that we are alive today to 
to give him praise, to worship and honor his name. Before we go to work today, we will prostrate our hearts and our mind towards the Father. We will trust in him and trust in his benefits. We give God praise this morning because Father will give us a place. Amen. An inheritance. Amen. Father will place us in a spacious place. Amen. So we give God praises that he will surround us with his favor, his shield of favor. And we give God praise in that. We glorify and exalt his holy name. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for favor. We thank you, Father God, in the name of Yeshua. We thank you for your goodness, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for your goodness in the name of Yeshua. Father God, we thank you, Lord, that we trample our enemies underneath our feet. And because of that, we have victories. And I thank you, Father God, that I am, and whoever you are, whoever you are right now, consider yourself victorious. Consider yourself being great in whatever God has put before you. Consider yourself righteous and holy. Consider yourself holy and acceptable before the Father. Amen. Trust in God no matter what the circumstances is. Do not add suspicion to your thoughts. Do not overthink with your thoughts. Just trust in his promises. Trust in his name. Amen. So we thank you, Father, for this morning. We thank you for this day. We honor you in spirit and in truth. Because you are spirit and your word is true. And your word came and dwelt among us in flesh. So Father, we just thank you for this morning, this afternoon. We thank you for this evening. And we command our day, we command our morning, we command the midnight hour. We thank you, Father God, that what is for us is for us. We give you praise in that, Father God. Nothing can be against us as long as we serve you, our Father. As long as we reach out to you and trust in you and trust in the benefits that we receive from you. In the name of your Son. Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And my name is Jacqueline King, Apostolic Ministries. God bless you. Bye.